let's talk about tubercular otitis media remember this is one of the very important mcqs that is asked in the neat exam so when we talk about tubercular otitis media there are certain salient points that you need to look into when a multiple choice question is given to you look for these following factors that is painless otoria and multiple perforations in the tympanic membrane so to begin with tuberculosis of the middle ear is secondary to a primary tuberculosis in the lung right and it produces a painless otoria remember the word painless okay there is no pain at all and eventually when these multiple perforations coalesce it becomes a single large perforation and one of the other important points that you need to remember here is the hearing loss is out of proportion when you look at the perforations there are more often in the pars tensa and when you look at the hearing loss that is disproportionate to that of the perforation that is it might be a large airborne gap or it may be present with a sensory neural hearing loss remember tuberculosis of the middle ear produces pale granulations unlike csom aticoantral disease or an unsafe ear where there are red fleshy granulations when you talk about tubercular otitis media the diagnosis is always done with the help of a gene expert test or a tubercular culture and the treatment is always anti tubercular therapy